No wonder people can't get any money for investments. They're too busy spending whatever money they have. As for instance, uh, your wife is cooking every night and she suddenly balks and says, I don't want to cook tonight. Let's go out to dinner. So the little missus says she's tired of cooking. <laughs> I like to say little missus <laughs> because it gets uh, feminists all riled up. But the little missus says, let's go out to dinner. Well, then you go out to dinner. And if it's like in a casino, <laughs> have steak with uh, drinks, wine, appetizer, steak, dessert, aperitif, 300 to $400 for two people, I guarantee you. When the little missus says, let's go out, I'm tired of cooking, you cook. You give her a break. You go out and buy the best steaks that you can get in the supermarket and see if you can find some fixings to go with it that you can buy and buy the best dessert maybe at a bakery and then go to the liquor store and get a top bottle of wine and get your candles then you cook and assemble that dinner and wash the dishes afterwards which is not going to be a lot of dishes because uh, everything is basically ready made now, the little missus is happy because she didn't cook that night. Plus, she had a fantastic meal with you. That's how you get money for investments. Instead of three or $400 for dinner for two in the casino, you buy top-notch everything you can get in a grocery store and the bakery, and put the whole thing together, and, and an excellent wine, put the whole thing together for less than $100. Now you got $200 to $300 left for investing.